Hi Tarot Lovelies, it's Ethany and I have a special guest today. This is my sister. This is Jamie. Can hey, you not, what's can, up? Can you not see just how the good looks run in this family? Vogue, 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 Pose. We are here to talk about things that we love so much, which is RuPaul's Drag Race. Gentlemen, start your engines. RuPaul's Drag Race, let the best one in. I should have just like put the music on instead of that. I finally have got the RuPaul's Drag Race tarot cards. Bitches, and we're going to go through them. It just came in this. Bit by bit. I know, we're going to toot and boot it. Oh, we didn't get the shade button up. we got to get the shade button up. Shade. Oh, do you want to do it on your phone? Yeah. So, you know I don't like editing. So, we're going to toot and boot. Anyone who watches RuPaul's Drag Race is going to understand that reference. We're going to toot and boot this deck and the picks for who they put on the cards. We've already had a little bit of discussion just from the back design. I got this deck from eBay because it's available in Australia for some really weird reason. It's not available until October here in North America. So, I was like, I ain't waiting that long. So, I went and got it. And it arrived so it didn't come it's not plastic wrapped or anything but the box is really cute I'm just gonna give you and normally I um, swap over the cameras but today I'm not because I've got my, my sister here who is also obsessed with drag race I am I'm yeah. very obsessed with drag race this is this is how deep we are in drag race what do we watch Jamie drag race well what else like all drag stars race. Well, photo, stars, photo fashion review, fashion photo review, anything on Wild Boot, Presents, bootleg. We love boot, bootleg opinions. Yeah, um, Ms. Cracker and her. What's Hot Mum? Is it Hot Mum or Fun Mum or Jinx Monsoon? Her one, Cool Mum, Cool Mum with cool Jinx mom. Monsoon. Yeah. We know pretty much. We know a lot about the drag queens. Mm -hmm. We've seen Trixie Mattel. We've seen Work the World. You've the Haters Roast, Bianca Del Rio, the drag queen. Katia. Like we are deep. We are very deep in the drag, into the drag. So we, um, we we're going to, we love basically. drag queens, basically, yes. Be our friends. <laughs> yes, any drag queens. My would... goal is to have a drag, the drag race, drag queen as a best friend. Yeah, and they're doing Drag Race Canada now. So yeah. it could happen. It could happen. Basically, I just, I think that they are all magical unicorn beings because I couldn't do my makeup and hair like that to save my life. Like it, it literally wouldn't happen. I'd be dead. Okay, so, um, it comes with this, oh no, the car stock is terrible. Feel that. That is like a floppy dick. <laughs> that is bad car stock. It's very thin. It's very thin, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, the it back's feels, cute though. What does it feel like? It you feels know, like just like... It's the cover of... A magazine. When, when you go back to school and you get one of those cheap notebooks... Yeah. It's like the cover of that. Yeah, it ain't good, it's people. It's very thin. It's not good. Plus, the other thing with this is it's not affiliated. There's a null note. Please note, this product is not associated with the series RuPaul Drag Race or endorsed or authorized by its producers. I wonder if they're going to get sued. Can you do that? I guess you can because I talked to Benabel about that with the Bad Bitches Tarot. But interesting that they're called RuPaul's Drag Race, drag tarot. race tarot Cards yes. instead of like just like Drag Tarot because there's a couple of really good ones on Instagram. Mm. Um, I wonder if they're going to get sued. Well... Maybe that's okay. why it's not available. In... <clears throat> no, but it will be because it's on Amazon. All right. So first impressions, I like the back. Do you like, Do we? are we tooting or booting the back? Mm, it's cute. It's not really drag it's race. It's not, is it? It's just like basic. It should it's be like little shoes basic. or something. Oh my gosh, we should do a drag one. Mm -hmm. We'd do so much better. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic. I'm just going to like, it's a meh. Do I do that still? It's I'm, a boot. It's a boot. <laughs> hey, wait. Not shade, it's food. <laughs> I know, but I still want to do it. Okay, okay, so now we're going to go through the cards. Be prepared. Oh, by the way, this is probably going to be a long one. Remember, okay, so the first one is pork chop for the full boot. Hard <laughs> boot. Well, okay, so let's talk about this first. So, <laughs> pork chop. <laughs> Remember when we were Googling? We know who pork chop is, but I was like, why did they pick pork chop for the fool? And then you Google pork chop, but just like <laughs> literal pork, actually, chops. Little pork chops came up. And then I tried to Google it again. <laughs> they got distracted and put in pork chop recipes. <laughs> so, I didn't get anything different. <laughs> so, we now know how to do pork chop. The line as well. You see that line? Look. It's like a print line. Oh, that's bad. Well, the card's in general, the camera's there. There. <laughs> in general, it's just not a very nice outfit. But I, but I've just been told in uh, that we're not tooting and booting the outfits. We're just gonna we're gonna toot and boot. Well, we're gonna toot and boot the overall okay. thing, right? So, so the fool. 
No, nah, I don't like any of it. You want to know why? Because in the Rider Waite Smith, I should have popped out. In the Rider Waite Smith, there's no purple in the pool. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of yellows and blues. I do like the uh, the arms outreach because it kind of symbolizes yeah. being open. But that's pretty much the only thing that I would I would say. And I was saying to to Jamie that like, why wouldn't you have RuPaul as the fool as someone who who like pushed that community like did has done re reinvented like reimagined not reinvented but yeah. like pushed drag into the mainstream into the mainstream yeah. But we've also discussed then, she said, well, this deck probably has put RuPaul as the Empress. I'm hedging bets I haven't seen. So probably put RuPaul as the Empress. So then we discussed who could boot be... No, the they didn't. And I hate it. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll get to that. <laughs> so who could be the fool instead? Would have been RuPaul. But if, it, but if it wasn't RuPaul... Oh, so what oh are the Alaska. Well, what are the attributes of the fool? Being open, trusting your intuition, mm -hmm. um, a, a leap of faith, the beginning of a journey, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of stuff. And so why did you say that Alaska would be well, the that's, fool? Yeah, I still think RuPaul should have been the fool. Okay, so we, like we he say... He was the matriarch of this fucking deck. RuPaul why should not? have been the yeah. fool. Okay. Done. Okay. Next. Bibi Zahara... Meow, pussy bitch. Oh, I mean, hey, that's from Kitty. Hey, Kitty. Yeah, I mean, it's classic BB Zahara Benay. Benay, Benay, Benay. Who a lot of people didn't know until she went back on All Stars Three. That's true. Season one is worth a watch. Season one is definitely worth a watch. It's it's good. It's just got a weird. It's got Vaseline lens. Vaseline lens, but otherwise it's great. So. The magician. Is BB a good fit for the magician? <laughs> I'm gonna hate all of them. Um Nah, I would put someone who was really good at the unconventional challenge. Because it's about the tools that you use in order to So Naomi. Remember Naomi Smalls? Smalls killed oh, that unconventional she killed challenge. both. She killed yeah. also like the um yeah. the scarecrow one and all that. Yeah. But so um yeah, it's all right. I mean, the, um, so why would you pick the unconventional challenge? Like, what's because the... the magician is about using the tools and manifesting. Mm -hmm. So when you're given like a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. what better way to pick? I'm just gonna find that screen. What better way to kind of like show that you can manifest by using the tools? But you know, BB was also a trailblazer. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, she was the first person to win RuPaul's Drag Race. She was a season. Mm -hmm. Spoiler! Oh, it's been well, and and how one way that she was very unconventional was when she came out in All Stars 3 mm. and her talent show where she came out and she did that. Oh my God, I died. That was so good. That the was dancing. so good. She came out and she did an African style dance. Oh dance, my God, it was amazing. And it slayed. Cameroon. Yeah, and then... She was All like, right, yeah, it I'm was almost, now. it was amazing. I was like gagged. Yeah. My wig was flew with Okay, off. so. So, you know, I don't mind that. Yeah, okay. So, okay, we talked about Katia being the um, devil because of her incredibly iconic look where she came out. It was the red challenge, the two, the two looks. And yeah. she had this red look and then she moved it and she had the inverted pentagram and it was just really, really cool. But I actually really like her as the high priestess because she's into tarot. If those of you who don't know um, yeah. Katya, she's into tarot. She may actually have a copy of the Bad Bitches I've tarot. I've tried tw how many we, times now? Twice to get one in yeah, her Yeah, we gave one to Trixie. And then we gave one at her show. And we gave one at her show. So hopefully she's got it. Yeah, so she's got tarot tattoos. She reads the cards. They have actually talked about it on uh, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Um she has one of my t-shirts with Katya on it is called The Woman. Mm -hmm. She and this is a great actually a great pick. I actually quite like this mm -hmm. because the high priestess is about occult knowledge and inner knowledge and um Katya's had a very uh interesting or you know she, she's 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 one of our favorites though. She is. She's freaking awesome. I wish this thing would like focus. Focus you dumb thing. That's Katya. Katya. Yeah, that didn't help. No, it's because it's focusing on our face holes. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Now this is, I hate this. I'm sorry, I can't even. The Empress. Okay, okay so we're talking the Empress with Monet Exchange. No. So firstly, no. Ethany is not the biggest fan of Monet Exchange. No, I, I like her well, much more now. Well, you didn't like her in that no. season. No. So that's not going to help. No. I, and the whole sponge thing, I was like, please shut up. Like, yeah. There, there's The problem is with some queens is they get a 
shtick. A, a shtick. And, then, and they try yeah. to keep it going for as long as possible yeah. because they want they want to build a brand for themselves. They want to put it on a t-shirt. But a t-shirt. <laughs> I, what I will say about Monet Exchange is she kind of dropped it after in the yeah, second season. Yeah, but bloody Monique Hart did Monique Hart She was did. riding that cow yeah, thing. She, like, oh, ooh. God. Okay, so why no. doesn't Monet and the Empress go together? Well, first of all, why is the Empress, the woman of abundance... Wearing sponges? Oh, wearing fucking sponges. Because that was an unconventional challenge. No, but that's not the point. No, but I'm saying it was an unconventional sp- st- challenge. So if you're using opulence, right? Yeah, but... but She's co- opulent. <laughs> you earn everything. <laughs> it's own. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and again like the empress it could have been rupaul the mother call me mother she literally has a, a track called call me mother right but did you see what favorites. i was saying is that the sponge like if you used oh, no maybe you were saying i it. hate it because again okay. like okay so boot boot this is a fucking hardcore boot and not boot. because i don't like my name i actually really like her now um she was amazing on all stars um Okay, so this is a tarot card of abundance, fertility, a connection to Venus, um, the mother. And I'm not saying that like you have to be have women parts to be a woman. Like that's mm-hmm. just fucked up. And I don't agree with that. Like you, if you're a woman, you are a woman. If you're in drag, then you are doing your thing. It's not about that. It's about the fact that she's wearing fucking cut up sponges. Yeah, I, no, I get that. That is not opulent. She, you know, who was wearing like like pl- plastic tiara was wearing. Amazing it should have opulence. been if we're going for full opulence. The pregnancy one where they did the pregnancy challenge. No, if we're gonna go for it full, it should have been it, Beyonce. Shangela's if Beyonce. you're going for opulence, it should have been Manila wearing that oh. silver number that she oh. wore in All Stars Four. That was that, that was, just slayed. The world. That basically. was a slow clap moment. Even if you weren't watching it, you probably your breath probably caught and you didn't know why. Yeah, it was. Uh, Manila is phenomenal, um, and that that it was fantastic. Or Shangela as Beyonce with all the butterflies and she was pregnant. Yeah. Again, the, the Empress is pregnant. <laughs> and of... Shangela in season in in All Stars season three could have been anything. Anything. She, she was, was amazing. Opulent in she that was season. just okay. And so robbed. We're, and we're brooding, robbed. but love you, Monet Exchange. Yeah. Okay. This one makes a lot more sense. The Emperor Bob, as the Bob drag. the Drag Queen. Purse, purse first. Purse first. We end in the club. Purse first, purse first, purse first. Purse first. We, we love Bob. Um, this makes a lot more sense. You want to know why I like this? Yes. I like this. You know what we should do? We should grab this thing and um, stick it like, you know, like, oh no, they, I need it's a little. Okay. okay. Um, one of the things I like about this is, but it's not on the camera. Yes, it is. It's okay. All right. So you can see it and it's not. <laughs> Sisterly love, <laughs> telling each other what to do. Telling each other's politely fuck off. Um, <laughs> um, so what I like about this is Bob the drag queen has a masculine name. The emperor is the masculine um, energy of the... Bob did not come to fucking play. No. In Bob's season, season eight, winner of season eight, RuPaul's yeah. Drag Race... Bob did not come to play. Bob came to win, and it was like yeah. so apparent. From and the gave outset. zero fucks, zero fucks about what anyone thought about Even that. Michelle Versace. Even Michelle Versace. <laughs> Michelle's just, like tone it down, and Bob's like, uh, no. no. <laughs> I'm living my best life. I'm on my favorite TV show, and I don't care what anyone thinks. <laughs> so good. I'm just gonna have fun, and, and I'm gonna win. Yeah. And did exactly that. So that mm-hmm. is a perfection. I toot the fuck out of that. Yeah. Great outfit. Which that was her her uh, promo look for the season. Um, I know that. Was beca- it? Yep, okay. I know that because I am an insane person. Yeah, well, it definitely wasn't <clears throat> her first first outfit because that was an unconventional challenge using a curtain. Oh, and she did so well, and then she's yeah. got like all that sort of cool stuff. Okay, the hierophant. Oh, can oh, I just yeah have a, a moment to say that I'm really loving that the, out of the first five cards, three of them are um, queens of color. Yeah, well, there's a lot of beautiful yeah, queens of color. I know, I just like it. That's one of the things we love about Drag Race is it's, um, well, it's a, a show for an underserved community that is fabulous and shows a lot of a huge spectrum. Yeah. Right? Like, mm-hmm. it's not just like, oh, look at these pretty white people, mm-hmm. which is just boring. Mm-hmm. I hate that. Mm-hmm. It's so boring. Um, talking about a beautiful white person that we love, Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Oh, can't see it, can't see it. There we go. Trinity the Tuck in that amazing. Okay, so this is an issue. I mean, like that outfit. She's just everything. Okay, so tell tell so us why is this a good? Walk. Is it a good fit? 
I can't get over this cardstock, people. You know I normally don't, like, hate on cardstock, but that's going to fall apart, like, real quick. But they were cheap. They're, like, 20 bucks. Well, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the shade button? Where's oh. the shade button? <laughs> shade. <laughs> <laughs> that was some real shade. So the Hierophant is usually about, like, institutions, organizations, organized religion, um, learning things. I feel like that's actually a pretty good one. She's been to many an institution to get many an injection. <laughs> that's true. She said she's very open about her, um, her surgeries. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has been doing drag a long time. Yeah, she's a pro. She is a she's pro. definitely a pro. Yeah, so there is a lot. Um, it also didn't come to play. No. All Stars, she was like, No, she, All Stars, she was going to win. Yeah, she was like, I'm not here to... And she would have... Well, she did. She did, yeah. Because Manila was out. Oh, that was... Unfortunately. But anyway. Like, I'm still not over it. No. It's too soon. <laughs> too soon. Um, but that's great. I actually quite like that. And the outfit is a toot. The outfit is a toot. She's a toot. I love her. She's I think a... she's fabulous. Yep. Okay, so not our favourite drag queen, but this is probably one of the coolest fucking outfits that yeah. has ever been on the, on the uh, just, runway. It is cool. Then we have Aquaria for the Lovers. Interestingly, the Lovers is the Gemini card, not the Aquarian card. So um, Yeah, that is a weird choice. Um, but why would she be the lovers? The lovers is about, well, I would have picked a Gemini. And you know who's a Gemini? Fucking Raja the Gemini. That is her actual oh, drag name. right. Why wouldn't you, yeah. Mate, this person. Fail. Who is this person? This person's going to fucking hate Boot. me. Whoever you are. What's this, what's this person? This hasn't even got on here. don't want to Anyway, name they, they're they not going to like me. I would have put Raja on here for sure because her name is Raja the Gemini. Right. Raja Sultan the Gemini. Yeah. We love her. But, um. This outfit is everything. Like, if you ever got to see this on the runway, it was phenomenal. And this was unconventional, wasn't it? Do they normally... I think it was one... Oh, it might have been an unconventional challenge. Yeah, Yeah, because they had to make three looks. Yeah, yeah. And this 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 one was was the... Final look, wasn't it? Well, it was for the ballroom one, because they had to make one for the future, one for the... uh, Like, no, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. It was... It was... She was amazing. Yeah. Um, the lovers. The I mean, eyelashes are I, just. I mean, everything is just sitting yeah. on this. For so, sure. so there's a bit of temptation there. I get it. Mm-hmm. I get it. I don't totally hate it. Something that could you grab a couple of my my deck? Oh, hang on, they're here. Something that I just want to address. I want to address the elephant in the room here. Can you hold up those? Um, I feel like some of my aesthetic was a little bit borrowed here. I mean. Um, but just like, not the back, was, not was the, not the back. back. Cause my backs are gorgeous. Um, <laughs> my backs are a shoot, model. Shoot. shoot. but I feel like, like the, the coloring, the backgrounds, like you can see here, I've got like these, the same kind of ombre ish backgrounds on all of my, it's the same sort of art style. And I know that this artist has done the unofficial guide to RuPaul's Drag Race. So, so it may be coincidental. It, it may, may be, be co- entirely coincidental, but, but just it's saying. hard not to see that. It's, it's really hard not to see that. Yeah. Anyway. Anywho. I was Next. really looking forward to this deck and now it's just no, no. kind of well, bumming me out. Well, you Thank just, God we had brownies today. What we should do is <laughs> and not those the, kind of brownies, just brownies from Whole Foods. You could always just cut the pictures out. and. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the chariot, Chad Michaels. I feel like she would have been a good world card too, but the chariot is about will. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, back will turn back to home. <laughs> <laughs> so the chariot, she's a well-known um, share impersonator. Uh, and that is a very classic share. Also winner of All Stars. Season one. Two. One. Yeah, right. season one, yeah. yeah. In the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. The fake hall somewhere. Um, While she's a share impersonator, she's actually good at everything. Well, she's also a drag mother, isn't she? But I would assume anyone who has watched it this far knows what we're talking about because it would be pretty boring. Yeah, if, you, yeah. if you're still with us. And I you haven't you seen it. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> turn it off, turn go it, watch yeah. it, come back. So this, I actually think this is pretty great because um, we've got here a, a queen that... You know, she's been doing this a very long time. Mm-hmm. Very, very professional. Mm-hmm. This is about pulling your will and your direction and and going after your goals. Yeah. And so I feel like that is a, is a pretty good pick here. Oh, this is actually a good one. Strength. Jinx Monsoon. We love Jinxie. Mm-hmm. Love Jinxie. I'd love to see who Roxy Andrews is. Just looking a little bit like Tammy Brown in that. A little she... bit, but she looks fucking fabulous. Yeah. She's a very witchy woman. That's if you didn't know that about Jinx, she's very witchy. Um, Jinx has um, n- um, 
what's that? Not narcolepsy. Is it narcolepsy? Yeah. It is narcolepsy. Yeah. I was like, why did I think of necrophilia? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not necrophilia. Sorry, Jinx. No. <laughs> narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. Um, narcolepsy. I think this is great because if you've watched her season, which she fucking slays at, yeah. she's given a lot of shit. Yeah. She's bullied quite badly. Yeah. And she always... Well, water off a duck's, duck's back, back. Water off a duck's, duck's back. back. And she just continues... You know, she got read quite a bit for her outfits. She's from Portland. She's yeah. very quirky. She's from Seattle. Seattle. Sorry. Very quirky. And she killed it. Yeah. She was amazing. Like, amazing performances. Incredibly talented theater yeah. queen. Um, and strength. It totally... Like, having that yeah. inner perseverance. Yeah. That is a shoot. Shoot. I love that. I love that yeah. so much. So that's... So we've had, we've had one that we feel is really... Do you want to sort Oh, no, them Bob was into... definitely... Bob, Katya, and this is definitely like... Okay, so we'll keep the yeah, ones that we think are good. Really, really good. The Hermit. Tyrus. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Tyra Sanchez. Tyra fucking Sanchez, who I feel like shouldn't even be in this deck. Tara Sanchez, controversial season Contra- two winner, winner for two reasons. Well, she uh, well, was for really more good, than though. Two reasons, yeah, but Raven was better. Raven was, we love Raven. We love Raven. I want to be yeah. read to filth by Raven. Read me, Raven, read me. I'm a bit more <laughs> sensitive. I just want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be read for filth. So, um, but it makes sense from the hermit because the hermit is withdrawn and she really mm-hmm. hasn't done anything since winning. She She's really been ostracized back. by the drag because she threatened to race fucking... drag race community, yeah, because of a threat to kill people drag at drag, ra- con. drag con, which resulted in the FBI being called, etc. Yes, yeah, psycho. Um, yeah, I. Th- yeah, psycho. I'm not sure what the rest of that story is. No, I but... don't know either. But I just remember that, and I'm like. That's what, and then remember there was like the whole thing of like give Raven the crown because they were like, she should be, t- it, when you're making death threats against, you know, your community. Anyway, I don't like yeah. her. <laughs> I, I can't remember, but there was something more to that story. Okay. Yeah, yes. This is probably one of the most iconic outfits to ever walk the runway. Manila Luzon in her phenomenal pineapple dress, fantasy yeah, dress. Yeah. She's got pins, all sorts of like merch with this. We love mm-hmm. Manila. Love Manila. Love Manila. Robbed, um, but you know, robbed, but still love Trinity. Yeah, all yeah, stars, all star all rules though are fucked. But mm-hmm. um, Wheel of Fortune is about luck. She's come back more than once. She's yeah. come three times. That makes total sense. Yeah. She's been rolling the dice. One of the times. few queens that have come back three times. Yeah, yeah. Shangie's another one. Shangela Latrice. and Latrice. Yeah, um, and she's fabulous. We absolutely love. I actually think that's a really, really good representation of the wheel. She, um, yeah, she's done great yeah. stuff with her and has a real, what I love about her, she's very kitschy, mm-hmm. but it, it's that spaghetti dress, like everything yeah, is she's very... off extremely classy, like really finished, mm-hmm. really polished. Manila is who everyone should have gone to for the Met Gala's camp oh, theme. Because she, she's camp. She is camp. But she's. High end camp. High end camp. Yeah. She's opulent. Up, up, Earn everything. Okay. <laughs> okay, another one of our. So we favorites. like this one. Yep. That's yeah, yeah, I like that one. Uh, I can't tongue pop. Oh, no! Wait, who does that? That is her. No, well, no, that's um, Laganja. Who oh does yeah, that's that. Laganja. Oh, oh. I, can't, I can't do any. But of that. um, that is her drag daughter. Yes. Andrea is her drag daughter. So this is Alyssa Edwards. We love Alyssa. That's a fabulous. She's got a secret. She's sitting on a secret. Alyssa is amazing. Justice. I mean, like, if Justice is a hard one. It's a bit it should be Michelle Visage. <laughs> should be Michelle Visage. Come Michelle, on. Michelle, prefer, prefer, prefer. Even though, yeah, even well, she's actually said a number of times she feels like she's a drag queen because drag can be hard for them. Exactly. Why can't it? It should have been Michelle. 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 Michelle, I can't. I can't speak today. Robbed is what I'm saying. Absolutely robbed. Should have been Michelle. Michelle. (laughs) Now you can't meet. (laughs) Okay, we're gonna move. This is like getting really long. So this is uh, Alyssa Edwards. We love her. This is kind of cool. Yeah. She's done incredible stuff. I quite like that a lot. Um, right. mm. Should we do a power round? Let's do ones we don't like. Well, that's got to go like oh, that. Eureka. She's a chicken upside down. I, what? 
Why? I mean, I get that it's the hangman, but why? <sighs> so what's the... Why? Okay, so tell me wh why you think they made that decision. Well, and... because, like, in the tower, the hangman is inverted. No, no, I get that. Oh. But why, so why don't you like it being Eureka? Oh my god, I'm pulling the most ugly faces on this video. Um, well, it's about surrender. She did have to leave. She did injure her knee when, on that cheerleader mm -hmm. challenge. Then she should have been wearing the cheerleader outfit. Yeah, right. If you're if you're referring, it, like if it's referring to that, it's got to be relevant to the outfit. Like that's girl. You're right. Don't like it. Okay. Next. Done. I, I actually don't, don't mind Eureka. She was a bit much. Yeah. I've been told I've been a bit much. Several We're times all a my, bit much. My day. <laughs> this is great. This is fucking amazing. Boom. Sharon fucking needles as, as death. death. Perfect. Perfect. Perfection. Shoot. She's amazing. Sharon needles is Aquarius drag mother mm -hmm. and won her season. Her zombie look. Her apocalypse zombie look is That's, still one of that the That should have what it should have. Yeah. Oh, this is the animation. problem. Yeah. This is the problem. Is that they should have got us to do it? Yeah, they pick the wrong outfits, right? Like if you're gonna use Sharon Needles and Death, why wouldn't you use the zombie um, apocalypse outfit? one? Which, by the way, was also an unconventional challenge and was probably one of the best ever unconventional ones to run. Gotta roll. love the unconventional and, challenges. And they read her in the workroom for that. Remember, yeah. they're like, "What is she wearing?" And then she went out and like literally slayed it in front of Elvira. Remember, she's oh, dying. Yeah. 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 This yeah. see, this is how deep we are. We remember the panel of judges. Okay, Temperance. This is also actually really good. Violet Charchki. I love Violet. Um, Temperance is, you know, it's kind of like a play. Oh, on they're it. doing her as the old, like when she Wait, was she, old. The, the woman, how she's going to die. Remember, she was going to die of asphyxiation. But why would they use that one? Because it's iconic. It was the. I guess they're going for like very re recognizable fine. looks. Fine. Okay. Um, but Temperance is about healing and uh, about mixing the elements, and this is not really about that very much. But it's kind of a play on it. Like this is an extreme, and Temperance is actually about being tempered. Mm. So it's an interesting kind of oxymoron on this. I said a big word, probably hopefully in the right circle, but I do okay. actually quite like that. Okay, it goes in our yes weird. path. Oh, look at her face. Her face looks a bit. Weird. No, that's what I'm saying. Why would they pick that one? One of our favorite people She's on the iconic. planet. Alaska. Alaska, be my best friend, Alaska. I love Please you. Please be my best friend. I will adopt you. Want some free health care? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean you'll marry her? Oh, I will marry you yeah. too, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we love Alaska, Alaska, and we love the fact that Alaska loves drag. Mm -hmm. Alaska loves drag. Okay, so this is uh, we love Alaska. This we love chop, her man. being pork chop. Was it pork chop? Was wasn't it little pork chop? Yeah, yeah, little, little pork, pork chop. chop. We love that. We just think the devil should have been Katia. Should have been Katia. Yeah, yeah, but Alaska is amazing. Alaska. I'm glad she's a major Arcana card. This. Uh, Hi. So are we? Do we like her or do no, we? But I just like her. Yeah, no, she's going in the. Night. This is amazing. The Tower, Trixie Mattel, probably one of my favorite drag queens. Top five for sure. Iconic. Iconic outfit. Holy yeah. crap! Oh my this God. was like perfection. Shout out to the Lady Hyde and how much beautiful things you put into the world oh with, on these drag queens. These drag queens make me feel so sexually confused. I can't even. Yeah. Like. This was incredible. This was red. This look was red, red on the red, being red on the runway. Get it? Red, like it's yeah. Mariju. Um, and she has books and on her books head. with apples oh and God. she's red and it's everything is, this is shoot. This is just amazing. Yeah. And I love that it's a tower and she's balancing the. Yeah, yeah that's it's a good choice. Amazing. Good choice. Amazing. Oh, this is a good one too. Valentina as the star. She was oh, like, I'm living my fantasy. Yeah. She is a star. She's been on TV shows. She yep. was in that awful re rendition, but whatever. She's a star of her own life. But and she she's is. she's very, very God, clear on God, she's that. fucking beautiful, though. Yeah. We've, We've seen, seen her, her in person, and, you know, the Damn. illusion, is it's not an illusion. She's she, just beautiful. She comes she, on stage, and you're just, just like... like <laughs> It is literally jaw dropping. She, yeah, we didn't even practice that. That just happened yeah. because that's exactly <laughs> what happens <laughs> like, when she walks on stage. Yeah, it's phenomenal, and her dancing is incredible. And she's yeah. actually like, for and I loved when she was saying that in her fantasy, she's living in her fantasy, mm -hmm. and it's like, I love that because you know what else that speaks to me on a very witchy level. That she understands how manifestation works. Totally. Because she's like allowing, not allowing anybody else's energy to interfere with her goals, like to interfere with her vision of herself. And maybe it might be a little bit inflated, but who gives a fuck? She's, she's like living her best life. Like, I right. love it. 
Oh, the moon, Raven, your favorite. I do love Raven, and it is an iconic Raven look. It is an iconic Raven look. Raven yeah. as the moon. So the moon is about um, the shadow side. Oh, yeah. she's a shady bitch. See, okay, so it's about the shadow side. And about, like, illusions and things not being as they okay. seem, and cycles and intuition. I don't know if this is right, but what I would love about this is Naomi Smalls did a version of this. I don't know if it would go with this, but I would love to see, like... Naomi on one side, Raven on the other. Oh. As the well, there's two pillars in the moon card. Yeah, there's a there's a white there's a, a white and a black pillar. It'll be cool to see them as the actual pillars. Yeah, because yeah, Naomi this is why Smalls. I should be doing these things. This is why yeah. I create my own. So okay, now we found Raja. Do we like this one as the moon? Uh it's okay. okay. This is good. Oh my god, the next card is fucking perfection. I can't even. Um, I like how Stay these are... Stay tuned for the next card. The next... The, these are, they've done really good picks for um, the Major Arcana. Um, the Sun, Raja. This makes sense. Um, this was also a really iconic look. The first person to really do mm-hmm. a um She, she a really oh, became God, very... Uh, she brought a lot of new ideas to the runway and oh, just gosh, took yeah. out um, the more pedestrian... Well, not pedestrian, but kind of more Her cookie cutter weird, drag though. queen looks like she's probably one of the most beautiful drag queens and she looks weird here well on this her card. face looks weird everything looks weird her hips look weird and everything her face looks too small for her but it, but raja is amazing and as the so sun we card, like, we like i that? do like that but okay. she i really do feel like she should have been the lovers because of the fact that she's raja salt and the gemini like i don't i don't get it yeah um but she had the most amazing runways She's a oh, runway she was queen. Amazing. Yeah. Um, season three. Good yeah. runways in season three. Okay. Perfect. Shoot. Bianca Del Rio as Judgment. Oh. <laughs> She's so amazing. We love her. We just went and saw her last month. We went and saw her. It was everything I wanted. It was to more be. than everything that we and wanted it to be. I literally screamed in her face. And she video. screamed back. And she screamed back and hugged me and I was like, oh my god, I yeah. could just die. Uh, she's, and also Meanwhile, reading so everyone lovely. to filth around her. And in such a way that you're just like, please, more. Yeah. Give me more. Such a generous read. Such a, such a generous read of filth. Yeah. More. That was, that's And perfection. it's a great, it's a great outfit that they've chosen for her. On her tailoring though, like, oh, she yeah. is, well, she's a costume designer, but. Love it. Love it. That is a definite this is also pretty great too the world Sasha Valor yeah. that iconic I'm, moment that moment was like that was the first time anyone's ever done that on yeah. Drag Race I've never seen any of her shows live but her shows are very conceptual I like that she's different um, and I like that she's but I think the world suits her for sure um, she changed a lot wasn't she one of the drag queens that never was on the bottom, just like Bianca Del Rio? Yeah, she was never on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think she was. Yeah. So her and Bianca are both winners for their seasons and both. Okay. We're going to go rapid fire this a little bit more because okay. we're at the 28 minute mark and we're, we've oh, just we could talk about it all day. All day. Okay. okay. Ivy Winters, Ace of Wands. Now we're getting into the not so well known ones. Um, except for there's a few in here that like, where's, de- oh, Detox okay. is at the back, I've seen it. Um, Ivy Winter, she, that's a goldfish, which is pretty cute. And she won the Miss Congeniality that year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So remind me again what the the journey of the wands the is. The wands is about creativity, passion, your work in the world. So these aren't going to be less about, like, I don't even really know much about Monica. And why, why are the wands blue? Why aren't the wands red? Ivy Winters looks deformed in this But, but one. why are the wands blue? Okay. The wands well, should be this color. Personally, I think the cards pentacles. should match the journey of what they are. Well, so, I agree. I don't... So... But it doesn't make any... St- oh. Doesn't oh, make why any would you pick that <laughs> outfit? For... All right. Okay. So we're going to do this quicker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so can we agree that the meanings of the cards are probably... Out aren't the window. Match- out matching. the fucking window, people. Okay. This is basically... This is basically so, a love letter to... Drag queens. Okay, so we're gonna do and this. Real also, quick. can I go to, before you go? Yeah. This is a love letter to the the thing. I also feel this is like, um, uh, more cashing in on a very popular trend and a very popular show. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Like you got to make money, and I bought it. Like I purchased this deck. Mm-hmm. Um, but the tarot meanings mean nothing. Um, really, I do like who they pick for the major arcana, but I would read this. Like if I was gonna pull this, I would read this as knowing the personality of 
the drag queen or I would ignore who the drag queen was completely and just read it as a tarot card. But I could, can't because there's nothing on here that says there's no symbolism. There's It's just really cool outfits. Right. You know, yeah, so, there's no symbolism. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Because that's what I was trying to say. So what does the Ace of Wands mean? Well, it's like new adventure. Uh, well, the Aces are all about like possibility and daring. Yeah, so and... goldfish. Yeah, Ivy Winters is a goldfish. Oh. Okay. So... Okay. Monica Beverly Hills is um, two of wands. Okay. Kenya Michaels. Kenya Michaels, three of wands. What is um, four of wands? Celebration and victory and yeah, my I can say Cynthia Lee Fontaine. She was pretty great. Well, she had cancer and she oh, bounced she came, back and she from came it. Back. And she came back from yeah, it. Yeah, okay, she's, that's, that's that's going a in the good while. That's going yeah. in the good pile. Pandora box. So what's the five mean? Like stress and and, and challenge and that should be like Anja. That should be Roxy fucking Andrews. Oh, that's true. Yeah, she was a bitch on that season. Or or Gia Gunn. Or Gia. Oh no, she should be like the Nine of Swords. If she's the Nine of Swords, I'm gonna gag. I'm gonna quickly. Okay, go. so five is Carmen Carrera. What does the five mean? You can see that's I actually, am not an expert. That's in actually tarot. a really good I'm an one expert for, in drag queens. for the nine. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, Carmen Carrera for what? Is that the six? That's the six of swords. Six of wands, victory. No, she's not even a winner. No, next. No, but she did, she is a trans woman who did become a trans woman, so we'll give her that victory. Well, she's also just fucking awesome and beautiful. And, and she's a model too. Oh my God. What face did they give Asia O'Hara? Did she me? gave them that, the Tweety Bird. You know how she did that? Oh, look, that's better. We should do this. You can see them better now. Nah. Nah. Okay, what's seven of wands? <laughs> well, I guess. You no, know, she's like in, a, in the, the seven of wands. She's like the boundaries. Like it's like um, that kind of thing. The eight of wands is quick, mo fast movement. Um, Pheromone falling off her. Oh my God, when she fell, I died. Yeah. That's beautiful though. That is actually a really beautiful card. She's a beautiful fucking woman. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, also, uh, Pheromone and like the eight, she's well known as having a few sugar daddies. Um. <sighs> Ken Kennedy Davenport. Who... Kennedy, I'm sorry. Kennedy Davenport. Is this the Nine of Wands? I get that this is like, you know, was how you're going to die, the chicken thing. But, um, and this is about endurance. But Kennedy Davenport had some of the most beautiful. She has been doing drag forever. Mm -hmm. She crushed it in um, All Stars mm -hmm. for Kitty Girl. Like, mm -hmm. she was phenomenal, that opening. She she wasn't in Kitty Girl. Yeah. Oh, Kitty right. Davenport. She was like, Sorry. she was the only one who sung and everything. And she did amazing. Yeah. And this is she, what they, yeah. You did her dirty, man. Dirty. <laughs> that boy went on the floor. That's cute. I quite like that. The Ten of Wands. Monique Hart. It should have been the butterflies. I'm sorry. It should have been the butterfly look that died because then it would have been like, made more sense. <laughs> okay. Thorgy Thor as the Page of Wands. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Like the Page of Wands for me is like Peter Pan, play. She plays the, um, oh, come on, you silly patootie thing. She plays the uh, violin. So that makes sense. The Vixen, Knight of Wands. Yeah, she likes to fight. I came to fight. Uh, so that makes a little bit, that makes some sense. Okay, Pearl, Queen of Wands. No. Nah. Wake up, Pearl. She should have been the Four of Swords. Because the whole thing was wake up, Pearl, and the Four of Swords is about rest. Hmm. See, this is why you get a tarot expert to do this thing. Mm -hmm. But again, I, this is not a real tarot deck. I'm sorry, it's not. King of Wands, Stacey Lane Matthews. <sighs> they really, they really loved what? Stacey um, Lane Matthews on that last um, season of. You know who I would have put this? Who this would have been for me? Latrice Royale. Yeah. Latrice Royale. Why is that? Because Latrice is a amazing personality she you were gonna say but latrice is a man <laughs> latrice is a man <laughs> well she well yeah she is a man. out of drag cheese you can keep doing it. I, was, I quite liked that that but like, i just want to put latrice latrice has a, a beautiful big energy she's okay so you're saying <clears throat> that aces um again pentacles are earth earth is not yellow this is driving me nuts okay so so we've got the ace of pentacles which is jasmine masters i've got something to say I don't is that like a good this. pick? Um, I mean, she's made a lot of she. She did go and wasn't she on Vine or something? And she was big on Vine. She was big on social media. So yeah, I mean, that's not a bad pick. 
Mimi on first, the two. That doesn't mm. even look like Mimi on first. Plus, didn't she pick someone up? She should have been she like. Did. She should have been like. But they did let her come back for all stars. Should have been the five of wands then, mm-hmm. because the five of wands is about competition and it has like people crossing wands. Right. And she literally picked someone up mm-hmm. on stage and then she got kicked off. And if it was me designing the deck, I would have put her in the space outfit. Why did? Why is it that um, Willem can't come back? Because Willem people came been, back. No, but Willem said that they could that he would never be able to come back again. I don't get why. I don't know. So Nick as the three. These make no sense. None, none of this. My, my my world is careening into. My world is careening into a dumpster full of drag accoutrement, and I'm this. I'm really sad. I was really looking forward to this deck. Mm. Oh, People are gonna hate me. God, for this. this is terrible. People are gonna hate. So, oh no. So of all the things to put Cameron Michaels in, you put in, her in that. Also, um, what is the what is that? The six or four? That's the four. It's yeah. like no, she's not even a she's not even a money honey. Like she's not even like cheap or anything. She's is it supposed to be a money honey? This card? No, but like the four of pentacles is about holding on to money and being closed off. Like someone like Violet Chachki or Pearl or um, who have been the other queens who have been quite quiet and like kept to themselves. Hmm. Um, Amand Diamond, mm-hmm. you know, like people who Amand little... Diamond would have been a good one yeah. because she was Diamond. opulent Diamond. and she she um, did the opulence. It's stressing. I'm going to need more brownie. Her name has Diamond. I know. I'm going to need more brownie after this to calm down. This is uh, really upsetting me. Okay, so this is upsetting me. Oh, we love Aja. We love Aja. <gasps> why did you not put her in that amazing anime look that she came back on season she, with All Stars and she yeah, was like, why they used her from her first season in an outfit which they got, had her redo. Re- yeah. Wasn't that the one where you yeah. had to redo your original well, that's one? that might be why, because she, the Five of Pentacles is about loss. And she did, didn't she get kicked off with this look? Probably. Yeah, so I get it, but like Aja deserves better than that. Yeah. And, um, and a fellow witch, a bruja. I mean, I'm not a bruja, but I'm a witch. And she is fucking phenomenal. Nah, don't like it. Why didn't they put her in that amazing outfit uh, that she came back in? On Jaina? Oh, I love Angina. That actually makes sense. Okay, this finally makes sense. The Six of Pentacles. Angina is HIV positive. Yeah. Has come out as that. Has yep. had a lot of support from the community. Loved by the community. And this is about yep. community and charity yep. and all that. Yeah, that's actually a really okay. good pick. But if you're going to give her balloons for the Six of Pentacles, you give her six balloons. <laughs> it's a true story. Simple math. Simple math. Simple math. No. Nah. I'm not liking Oh, my this. God. <laughs> So glad we're doing this together. Coco Montrese. Oh my god. Oh, she's got the Cheeto face. I know. <laughs> oh no. As the seven, this is auditing. Actually, that makes sense. Audit, like take off the first thing that you see that is. That yeah. actually makes sense. Okay, we'll okay, give, we'll it give it to that her. one. I'd like to know if anyone knows the creator, if they did any research on the tarot whatsoever. Because I'm going to say no. Or they looked at a keyword and then went from there. Okay. These are bad. Laganja. Oh, we love Laganja. Did someone order a, what was it? Did someone order a twist and she just death drops? Yeah. In that okay. outfit. That was her entrance outfit. So, is it, is it relevant to Five, the card? Seven, eight. Um, yeah. Okay. This is actually, because like she's worked really hard. Um, this is about hard work and apprenticeship and she is a right. drag daughter. She's a drag daughter. She's worked really hard off and on Drag Race. Yeah, she she's, does dancing with... I the, hope she comes back and does Drag Race oh, yeah, for All Stars. Oh, yeah, she's dancing with a star. Um, so you think you can dance? Well, she's she's tried to get on there a couple of times. No, she's been on there. Yeah, but she doesn't get past a certain point, yeah, I think. Yeah, but she's pretty fucking phenomenal. It's not Dancing with the Stars. I it's think some, it's so, so you, you think, think you, you can, can dance. dance. Yeah. yeah, she's great. I like that one. That's great. <laughs> uh, nine of Pentacles. What is going on with her eyes? I think she's supposed to be blinking, but it looks really weird. It does look weird. It makes her eyes look like they're uneven. Yeah. They do look uneven. They do look uneven. Um, Gia Gunn has been known as a bit of a pot stirrer. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty iconic look for her, that really oversized yeah. bag. Did someone order fresh tilapia? <laughs> That was so good. That was so good. Fish. She serves fish. She, well, she's trans. She's a woman. Yeah. She's a woman now. Um, well, she was a you know, you know what I mean. I'm sorry if that, that didn't come out right, but she is uh, has transitioned. She, she is a biological woman. She's a biological woman. She's a woman. Um, her face does look a bit weird. But the Nine of Pentacles, she is quite rich, rich and that kind of thing. Like, I don't know if she's rich, but she's kind of got that opulent thing, which is the mm-hmm. Nine of 
Okay, so now we're at um, Chan- is it Shangela? No, Chanel. Chanel. Wasn't Chanel on season one? Mm, I guess so. Yeah, I've only watched season one once. I I've got so. nothing to say about that. Yeah, we we don't know enough about Chanel. Sorry, Chanel. Well, it's also like it's got nothing to. Do. Well, I guess you win something. So tell me of... what the Page of Pentacles stands for. For me, it's like I always think of like a Hobbit of. A, a very hobbit? earthy earth child. It's the earth child. It's the um, the like you know the person who likes people who like animals yeah. more than anything else, and who are very simple but not stupid. They like they're very kinesthetic. They like to to um, tinker with their hands, all that kind of stuff. Who is it? Well, I would say by that, wouldn't you think Jinx? By that description, no, I think Jinx is better. It's, no, I know, yeah. but I'm just saying like that is the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know who is it. It's Willem. I don't think. Oh no, nah, man! Willem, Willem is, is a, a firecracker. Yeah. Firecracker. She should have been the king of wands. She is a shit stir. Shit stirring, firecracking, but, but rule she... breaking rebel, and we yeah. love her. Yeah. Bit like potty mouth, she, big mouth. She. Um, what is it? She like challenges the institution. Oh, oh, totally. That's her. That that is wrong. I would have. She should have been the King of Wands. She would have been an amazing King of Wands, and has an entrepreneurial spirit. Was in the, the AAA girls. Mm-hmm. Um, she has a podcast with, with Alaska. Alaska. She, which is great. She has her way. own channel on YouTube. She's oh, she's got her own book. Yeah, like yeah, also she, an actress. Also oh, on Sex in the City. Actor. She was in being both sexes because that thing too. The uh, Star is Born. She was in that with yeah. uh, Brad Pitt in that. Yeah. No, no she not Brad Pitt. Been... Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Brad Pitt on the brain because of Tarantino. Mm. But she should have been the King of Wands. Okay, cool. She should have been the King of Wands. All right, next is um, um, Knight of Pentacles. Tell me. I who already the... saw. Oh, it's Roxy Andrews. I'm Damn Roxy it. Andrews and I'm here to make it clear. I know you love me, baby. That's why you bought me here. I was a bitch on season five. I came to make it right. Give me a so one challenge and I'll give you what you like. Okay. <laughs> I good fit? Oh, no, good fit. Like Halloween. Um... Oh, I think so in a way. She had a hard life. And the um, the Knight of Pentacles is about endurance. And she's endured a lot of shit. That's true. So I don't hate that. And I don't hate Roxy. She was, nah, she's great. She was great. She was a bitch but on she season redeemed, five. But she, she redeemed, redeemed herself. herself. And she learned from her mistakes. Yeah. And, and her verse in Read You, Wrote You is awesome. I don't know why anyone wants to. Like, everyone gives her shit. I think it's great. Okay. So she sang. She was, like, fierce. She wasn't, she didn't get the um, everyone wearing black memo, but she was still great. <laughs> so what about um, Queen of Pentacles? What's... The healer, someone mm. who is like a real motherly, um, matrionic, um, someone who wants to... That should be... Like, a- that should be too because of herbal. No, it should have been herbal medicinal marijuana. It would have been a good time. Like, like, okay. Like, but as a mother, Asia was a real mother. Asia was great. In oh, her she's season. She's so good live. Yeah. We loved her live. She was she's an amazing, amazing person. performer. So what do you think about them using Naomi Smalls? Nah. What? She should have like the two of swords with those pins. Are you kidding me? Because she that woman is all legs. She is all legs. She is, oh my gosh, she's all legs. And a fashion like... Yeah. Icon. Yeah. Icon. Oh. Well, and as we said before, she nailed the um, unconventional challenge. And so, she has she, amazing yeah. aesthetic. And her and Kim Chi are just the sweetest. <laughs> so what about, that was the queen? What about the king? I know who it is. It's Kim Chi, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It is. That actually makes a bit of sense, but not. But in a way, like the, 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 the king of, uh, of pentacles for me is like a more of a stubborn. I still love her so hard for that do not come for, do not come for me. <laughs> She's so funny. Also, her makeup skills. I'm um, um, parallel. I'm parallel. She's incredible. If you don't follow Kim Chi on, on Instagram, go do yourself a favor because she's amazing. Not the most graceful on stage, but I feel like as someone who's also not graceful on stage, that she's kind of like, I get it. Mm-hmm. I, I love it. Um, okay, so Ace of, Ace of Cups. Oh, a very emotional person. We would need someone who cry- who cries all the time. I think there's been a few. I feel very attacked. Who said that? I said Barry. Oh, yeah, that was, that was the Ganja. <laughs> Adore, Adore Delano. There was someone who Adore. was crying. Adore. There was. She did. She cried a lot in All Stars Three. Well, there, she went home. Yeah, because she was crying. But there's someone. <laughs> there was someone who was crying every time they were on the runway 
on one of the more recent seasons. Oh, yeah, and everyone was just, like, rolling their eyes, like, really, here we go again. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so whoever that was, <laughs> write in the comments below. So if someone knows. Um, okay, so we have Latrice. Nah. Uh, mm, I guess she's very well loved. This can be a beloved thing about a lot of love going out. I love Latrice. We love Latrice. Get those nuts out of my face. Although not. I, uh, yeah, Latrice is great. Latrice should have been one of the core cards, though, I think. Like, she would have been a great king or a queen. Like I said, she's got... Because she's one of the fixtures. Like, if you think of, like, real, like, matriarchal fixtures, Latrice is in there. You know what I mean? Like, she's got that kind of, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, so, Two of Cups. I don't know who that is, but that is a weird-looking outfit. Who is it? Well, but what does it stand for? Oh, True Love. It's a true love card. Vivacious. <laughs> no. And again, the cups aren't purple. I mean, they can be, but no. True love? I'd use Ginger Minge. Oh my god, I love Gingy. Ginger Minge is amazing. She, we haven't seen her yet. She's no. not in here, I write. We haven't seen Courtney, Adore. Mm -hmm. Courtney, Adore, and Bianca are still my favourite top three of all time. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen Gingy. Mm mm. Whoever else have we seen? We haven't seen um, Derek Barry. Shea Coulee. Where the fuck is Shangela? Ms. Cracker. Where is Detox? Shangela, Detox. I don't like that. Um, that would have been Shangela. I would have put her as weird. the Two of Cups. True Love, I would have put her much better as the... Yeah. Okay, so the Three of Cups is Rebecca Glasscock. Well, she looks like she's about ready to take a Glasscock. Look at her. She looks like a sex doll. <laughs> she literally looks like something that's been like... That has been inflated or ordered from some expensive sex doll website. No, I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. What does Four of Cups stand for? Um, like apathy. Oh, pearl. Just being. That yeah. should have been pearl. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, how's your head? What? <laughs> they put GGB. But GGB is one of the most joyous oh, little beings no. of amazing ever. Her and Raven are just like. I love that outfit though. That outfit is sickening. And yeah. we love Jujube. Love some Juju. Love a Jujube. Nah, don't like it. We haven't seen Mariah Balenciaga either. We haven't. I love Mariah. We love, let's face it, we like most of these queens we actually we really, love, really we like. We love them all. But um, not raving, okay. except so for Tyra Sanchez. So what's Five of off. Cups? Sorrow. Grief. Chichi Javain. Mm. That would be a door. Sorrow and grief. Yeah, she was a bit of... She, cause also, because she, she's into grunge, right? Yeah. She's more of that. Although she's very fucking talented. Oh, my God. This camera's driving me nuts. I'm sorry, folks. Chi Chi Devane. I loved Chi Chi Devane. Mm-hmm. That accent kills me. I mean, but it looks good. At least that card looks good. Okay. So, what was that? Four? Five. Six. Six of cups. Six of, oh, six of Cups is like memory and dreams and inner child and regressions and things like that. Tatiana. Oh, oh, the same parts. That was iconic, that performance. Yeah. That makes sense. I actually quite like that. Because, you know, she came back and she talks about, yeah. But again, cinch her waist a little bit. She actually was cinched in that performance and it was amazing. Tati, Tiwa Tati, perfection. Seven. Seven of Cups is fantasy, delusion, head in the clouds, that kind of thing, daydreaming, choices, that kind of stuff. Choices. That should have been her. You know, when she's like, choices. That was her line. The delusion? You know, but she was talking about how yeah. someone was delusional. Okay. Choices. choices. So we've got Delta Work. I don't really oh, keep that there. That's actually focused properly. Delta wasn't really oh, delusional, screwed though, it was up. she? No. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. Eh. Meh. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Yeah. It's all right. She was a top four in that season with Bianca. Yeah, she yeah. was, yeah. A, B, C, D, when they did that performance, yeah. which we missed because we're not in London. Okay, so eight of cups. Yep. Yeah. Walking away from an emotional situation or going your own way. You can go your own way. Like emotional. I fucking love that song. Was Ginger Minge. Oh, Gingy. We love Gingy Mingy. Our glamour toad. Come on, pick it up. Also, someone I've seen live. Uh, Anthony couldn't come. No, I was in Portland. Oh, no. It was sad. She's amazing. We love Ginger Minge. An amazing host. 
Oh, she's just phenomenal. Okay, so... Um, nine of cups? Nine of cups. Um, wish, gratitude, happiness, self-fulfillment, self-care. Milk. Yeah, that milk. <laughs> milk does a body good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it how, like, um, Courtney Act was like, I'm I lactose, I'm lactose uh, intolerant free, but I'll, uh, I'll have a milk. I'll take that milk. Great outfit, too. Like, milk is really well known for having very different uh really leaning into the masculine side has been in fashion magazines amazing ice skater um was a bit cocky when uh when milk came back on uh season three because that's a season yeah, three promo look cocky. of uh yeah all stars but great like we like milk quite a lot 10 well 10 of cups is like the ultimate fulfillment of emotions like happiness and family and love and just like in the cracker in the cracker outfit if she's not if her and Shay kool are not where is Shay if, if her and Shay kool are not in this season of fucking all stars I'm gonna slap a bitch because they're like the best oh I love it I love it I love it and review with you oh love it I um that. okay page of cups empath empathy Yara Sophia yeah she's a sweet one she's a real sweetie that outfit is not, doesn't, no, not does doing anything for her, though, nothing. Because her hair, she's just like a box. Yeah. That's yeah. really, not really doing much for a beautiful Yara. Knight of Cups? Romantic. Shandela. Is that Shanji? And she's popping out of a... Uh, the box. The Tiffany's box. Hallelujah. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. We love Shanji. We... And I love that she's become like super again in an Oscar uh, nominated or award winning. Well, she got to do Beyonce for Beyonce. Beyonce, and she's again she was in that um, A Star Is Born. She's been selling out. She's been one of my favorite people. Todd Hall, like mm. Queen of Cups. Ah, uh, the Mystic. The Mystic. Yeah, like like the psychic, like a tarot reader. Do you know who they should have used for this? Who? They should have used, um, what's that queen? Sugar. Because Sugar cane because she does the yeah, even red does ones. The, the but that's tarot. quite new though. I know, but yeah. it still would have been good. But they chose Bende La Creme. Oh, no, that makes sense. Like the heart. Well, this is the queen of hearts. That makes sense. Okay. Because she, she voted herself out in a shocking in a shocking twist. The lady took some white out and actually instead of hurting other people, mm. she took herself out. So that makes absolute sense. And that is an amazing outfit. She wore yeah. that on... Hey, kitty girl, yeah. it's your world. We love that song so much. And we love Ben Creme, another very talented theatre queen. Yeah. Okay. King of Cups. Oh, Adore, Adore Delano. Delano. And that was the outfit that she actually left her After, All yeah. Stars um, thing on because she was red again for not being cinched. And she's like, Michelle, we're friends. Why would you read me? And then she's like, it's a competition. And it all went downhill from there. But super popular on Instagram and everywhere. And just everyone loves her. Okay, so what is the Ace of Swords? New mean? ideas, inspiration, intellect. Okay, so we've got Vanji wearing the, the outfit that she got kicked off But from. she also it was the outfit that she did the Miss Vanji. Yeah, that's Miss true. Van- so that's so true. It's iconic. New idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And we love Vanji. We got to see Vanji. We got to see Vanji when Vanji was sick. And so Vanji was... Um, Didn't perform, just did a Q&A, a Q&A which was really... Which was actually better, probably. It was, but some of the questions are a bit lame. Like, I they know, should people have just given ask me the stupid questions. <laughs> Let us do it. They like, ask questions about happen. Brooklyn and they've broken up. Like, why would you, where would you go and ask someone about their ex-boyfriend? Yeah, and, and the, who's on the same show. Yeah. Like, can you not make it about her and her work? Anyway. Two of Swords? Uh, kind of like an impasse, stalemate, not going anywhere. Is it really someone who's stalled? Alexis Mateo. <laughs> oh, I like Alexis Mateo. Yeah. Mimi, like, that should have been Mimi. That first. should have been Mimi on first. <laughs> yeah. Mimi, no, Mimi, you're first out of the door. Um, again, swords are more. Swords should be this color, yellow. So tell me about the three. I of never swords. throw tarot cards, and I'm just really yeah, bummed they're out. Yeah, everywhere. I'm really bummed out about this deck. The three of so swords. Excited. Sorrow, grief, heartbreak, hmm. betrayal. Hmm. 
You wouldn't have thought that with Morgan McMichaels because she was really upfront about there's no betrayal. No. Like she was super up. But that was... should have been betrayal should have been Naomi Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> Holding up the manila lipstick. <laughs> yeah. But um, it was a bit heartbreaking that she left so quickly. Yeah. Also, can we just standing ovation for this beautiful woman for punching a Nazi in the fucking face. We love that. High five, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan's awesome. Morgan is awesome. Worth following on Instagram. Yeah. Loves her fans. Loves drag. Loves drag. Yeah, and punches Nazis. And a sassy ass bitch. And we love that. Yeah. We love that. I love you, Morgan. All right, so tell me about the... Gora uh, swords? Yes. That would have been the one I'd put for Pearl because it was like being asleep, right. resting and meditating, kind of like Yeah, out. so then you wouldn't pick Acid Betty for that? Fuck no. Acid Betty, she, she was like her name suggested. She was like corrosive and really like... Um, like a toxic little puffer fish, this one. Maybe she looks like a toxic little puffer fish. Amazing looks, so like iconic yeah. fucking runways. But no, I wouldn't have put the four of swords at all as I said, baby. Okay, five of swords. Uh, harsh words, bitchiness. Oh, this is a good one then. Who is it? Derek Berry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brittany, bitch. So if you haven't seen that season, Derek Berry just went to town on Bob. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. They had that massive fight. Yeah, just went. And Bob didn't care because, as we said earlier. But Derek was Derek was the one getting riled up. Oh, but Derek was mean. Yeah, Derek was pretty mean. It could she... have been Roxy Andrews as well. Yeah, it could have been. All right, so we're up to. Six of Swords is about traveling to new waters, like going a journey, moving from the past, all that kind of stuff. So we've got Miss Fame. Isn't Miss, didn't Miss, wasn't Miss Fame one of the ones who like spoke? No, that was Pearl who was like. Rampart is a bitch. Um, Miss Fame has also done a lot in the, the fashion world. Has done mm-hmm. quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Gets mistaken a lot for Violet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably pisses her off right Seven? Wrong. Being either going your own way or having treachery, being stolen. It's I, I liken it to being the thief in the night. Okay. The joke around the thief. So we've got the, G- Jiggly Caliente. That means nothing to me. Like I know who Jiggly Caliente is, obviously, but... Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint that that's the personality on that one. Yeah. Okay, so um, Eight of Swords. Mentally trapped. Being stuck in your a cage of your own making. Look at then you, people why would learning. you put Tammy Brown? Um, Because Tammy Brown is like very unique. I wouldn't say she's stuck. Yeah, but Tammy Brown has got no problem saying things that gets her into trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like the cage, like you know what I mean. Like she said mm-hmm. a few things before that's been like, oh, maybe you shouldn't have said that. But um, we like we like Tammy Brown. She's no. kooky. She's, she's kooky, kooky and she's spooky. A little bitty ooky. We all love Tammy. All right, who's next? Nine. Nine of Swords is like stress, anxiety, being woken up by the nightmare. Fifi. Oh yeah, this was this. I saw this one. This one's perfect. Yeah. Fifi O'Hara was the right fucking bitch. Both times she was on Drag Race. Yeah, couldn't help herself. Could not help herself. Would go and sit with people and and purposely Hope. little, yeah. like, little... Yeah, she'd plant seeds and then she would water them. With yeah. Tea. But um, some of her runways, like her cosplay yeah. runways and stuff like that, yeah. Beetle run- like she's done some amazing runways, but a bit of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, so Come we're at to Ten people. of Swords. Um, That is, like, the card of... It's over of like, like it's just it's like you usually got the person on the ground. The ten swords are like all out of them, and they're like, it's done. Mental exertion, you know all that kind of stuff. So we have peppermint. I love that outfit, but I don't get it. Like I don't get the connection to the ten of swords. Mm. But we like peppies. Yeah. I also like peppermint. little peps. Okay, so a page of swords. The detective, the person who asks lots of questions, the person who doesn't stop talking. That should be a Riki O'Hara. Yeah, that should have been a Riki O'Hara. <laughs> They've got Nina Flowers. No, don't get it, but like Nina was amazing. She was season one, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, Nina was amazing. That's a fucking cool one. Okay. She had amazing runways. God, she had amazing okay, runways. Okay, so there's three left. Based... No Courtney, is there? There's no Courtney yeah. act. Okay, so there's three left. Who are the three that you would guess based on who we haven't seen? Well, there's no Detox and there's no Courtney. And one more. You've got two out of three. Really? Yeah. Oh. um, We've already said that she wasn't there yet. Shay? Yeah. Oh, high five! (laughs) All right. 
this is <laughs> this is how much we okay so now queens. so now you know the last three who's who who's through so we okay, got the so knight the, be the knight. um okay so t- t- what's the attributes of the knight so the knight is like the oh no maybe shay the warrior the traveler um the person who says things first and then thinks later it's a gemini oh it is shay shayley cool lady who's one of my all-time fucking favorites and if she does not come back and win all stars this season i'm gonna riot her or Cracker, but I would really, really... She was phenomenal. Phenomenal! Okay, so we've got Detox and Courtney, oh, Courtney. left. Totally is the go queen? Be, yeah, it's going to be Courtney. We, oh, that outfit is everything. That outfit was so iconic. We love we love our Australian queen. Yeah. And then, and then de- Detox. Oh, that outfit was... We, don't, we still don't deserve this outfit. I've seen memes oh, no, on the internet. so about. beautiful. That black and white, Morticia Adams, King of Swords. And she, again, she is very, like cutting and direct but her runway looks on season two of all stars to this day are still some of the best that have ever walked that runway yeah she was phenomenal detox is incredible incredible all right so, so overall hate her boot <laughs> <laughs> what's what's worse than a boot <laughs> Is there anything because no. we have a boot is when we we should probably should Bubble have said this on at the, the beginning of the shoe boot <laughs> A boot is not liking it. A toot is liking, liking it. it. Then there's a newt, which is like, meh, maybe, maybe it's a newt. No, maybe. you didn't like no, it. No, I don't like it. But then there's a shoot, which is like out of yeah. this world. Yeah. Okay, so the reason why I don't like it, I see a lot of tarot decks. I get given a lot of tarot decks. I buy, this woman knows how many I buy. I buy a lot of tarot decks. And this just feels, well, the card stock is shit. The elemental associations with the colours just do my head in, even though, like, I'm all it's for... It's the kind like, of cardstock, actually, in the back, too. The back it's like what the, you expect at the dollar store. Why? Oh, my God. And why wouldn't you have the actual race flags? Or what? Where that is could Ru- be the and race where flag. where is RuPaul? <gasps> There's no RuPaul. There's no fucking RuPaul, and she's just on the box. Like, that is a disgrace. She's just on the side of the box. She's, she's not even the on the front there's of the no box. There's no Rue. There's no, um, uh, who's, uh, Ross Michaels. There's no, no Michelle, Michelle, Visage. Michelle Visage. They should have had Carson, Michelle, there's no, and Ross. What's her name? Um, Lady Bunny, who has, it was on, like, it was. Well, was, like, it was never a contestant. But she's been on. Remember, they did the roast of Lady Bunny. Mm-hmm. And that was amazing. Like, Lady Bunny couldn't help but laughing in her own casket. This is the problem with doing a car, a, a deck based on characters, characters being, all drag queens play a character. Yeah, totally. But a, based on something that is ever-changing as well. Because yeah. it's like, it's never going to be up to date. That's true. There's always going to be... An... And we're going to pick different outfits that we like from different people. That's going to be, you the know what I mean? The dog is licking my leg. The dog was licking my leg before. Uh, the actual pooch, Thor. Um, but I don't like it for these reasons. The cardstock is bad. There's no RuPaul, which is just disgusting. The elemental, like, this should be the cups when I'm looking at it, just from a basic tarot standpoint. Most of them make no sense from the personality of the queens on or off screen. And for me, it would be unreadable and unusable. And I was really looking forward to this deck. I might try working with it on an Oracle Wednesday to see, but I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to reconcile it. I don't like it. I don't mm. think I've ever flat out said I don't like something on my channel before. Yeah, it's hard to like. And I feel like... <laughs> it's hard to like. <laughs> and it's hard to like when you love drag queens. I mean, Yeah, and we really love drag queens. I mean, I love the drag queens on it. But... Again, like I, I, it reminds me of that Game of Thrones deck. Oh, which I couldn't get behind either. Right, and it's because you're 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 using characters yeah. of people that if you're just trying to match a queen to a card, versus understanding the what the card is and those elements of those personalities that are that those queens lead with, or or situations that they're iconic for. Then you have to take all like, of that into account. Like, why and if you like, haven't watched Drag Race about six times each season, like, like we, we have, have. <laughs> then, then, you know. no word of a lie. And, and actually, I might cleanse my palate after this and go watch an. Yeah, we might have to again. and yeah. get a brownie because this is obviously this just shook me to my core. Um, look, it's it is quite pretty. Some of the pe- some of the queens look a little alien like, and that, yeah, that's their a bit faces of a rendering. are a bit weird. Um, I do feel like the backgrounds were, were not picked very well. Um, 
But again, I didn't like the Game of Thrones tarot. I never even unboxed it. I'm, I'm giving it away as a part of tarot summer school because I just know I don't like it. It was uh, the artwork was beautiful. They, I love Liz Dean. They I used like the, the idea. same characters over and over again. Well, they did, and also they did it before the show on, and the books had, were finished. Right, which meant that by the time we had seen the deck, there well, had Igna been was dead. there had been characters yeah. that had been used or hadn't been used because they hadn't come yeah. into the show yet. Yeah. So, and then when you're using, I mean, now we're talking about Game of Thrones, but with with this drag race, I mean, I think my biggest. Well, there's no RuPaul. I feel like that's... Criticism. Just... Okay, so number one, there's no RuPaul. So how can you call it RuPaul's Drag Race without RuPaul? Two, the cardstock is shit. Cardstock is shit. It's flimsy. I'm in a mood today. Two, two dollar, dollar store special. You want to know the reason for the people who are watching? I'm actually in a fairly good mood today and you can contest If you're still with us. If you're still with us an hour and five minutes in. You've been working with me all day, right? I was super looking forward to this deck. That's the reason why I'm disappointed because I ordered it from Australia. I waited it, like I got it three months before because I was like really wanted to read with it. I love drag race. I love drag queens. I love drag culture. Uh, I love tarot more than fucking anything except for like the people in my life and my pooch. Like I, so like to those things I felt like were a perfect match and it's really let me down. Mm. So I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> note we're gonna go watch some Trixie Mattel and some cleanse the palette maybe watch kitty girl like yeah. on repeat you go watch kitty girl go watch kitty girl hey, kitty girl it's your world when Up you land the street <laughs> step into the beat hey kitty girl um but thank you for watching I'm so sorry this was a big bummer but I was just not having it I would love to hear what you have to say maybe you think I'm being a grumpy bitch I don't think so. whatever um Stay fabulous and we'll see you next time.